hello and welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl Monique nicole if this is your first time tuning in please stop what you're doing and press that subscribe button also make sure you click that bell for that notification link so today i have a wig that i don't think was really that popular when they came out but i decided to give it a try just because i love the color and y'all already know me i don't shy away from any kind of color any kind of style kind of wig so today i am bringing to you bobby boss and i had this in the color um tt2 slash g silver i guess gray silver and this is the mlf 356 in the style elise now the wig comes like this it comes in a braided pattern now i know you're like girl what are you about to do what you doing with these braided pigtails but trust me i feel like this is gonna be one of the wigs that you look over but it's actually like a diamond in the rough kind of wig now here is the cap construction now it is ear to ear lace it does come with a lot of baby hairs around the perimeter and it does have parting down the center and that is all where you see it now i did go ahead cut the lace and i did put some of my c7 l'oreal um powder foundation now this wig comes with three combs actually comes with four combs excuse me one on the right and one on the left of the part one on the right side and one on the left side and one in the back with two adjustable straps so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to put this baby on like this Alrighty, y'all. Let's let's see what we can do now. Mm, I do not think that this wig is. Woo! It's on. I don't think it's big head friendly, but I can tell you this, y'all. This wig. This wig ain't going nowhere. Ugh. It ain't going nowhere. And the style lays flat. Now you can go ahead and you can, if you want, you can gel down the baby hairs. But y'all already know I'm not like a gel down baby hair type of girl. I'm just going to adjust the back. And technically this wig is like ready to go. I actually like the wispy baby hairs, but it's not for everybody, but I think it gives it more of a natural kind of look. This is giving me the craft, you know, vibes. So this is cute. It's cute. Would it, is it a wig that I would hurry up and purchase? Absolutely not. But this is Elise. I am going to go ahead and take the pigtails out. That way you can see how it looks all out and in its glory. But I am going to go ahead and I am going to take some pictures before I go ahead and do that. But before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to give you a quick 360. So this is how the hair looks all in the front. Definitely giving me Halloween vibes. Definitely. Here's how it looks on the left. It does lay very flat. This is how it looks in the back. And this is how it looks on the right side. Definitely gives you a really cute profile. So I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures and then I'm going to come back. Hey y'all, so I am going to take the ponytail out because like I said, I really want to see how this looks without the ponytails in. So I'm just going to do this. Hopefully I don't mess up the curls. Because I don't know how this is tied around, but... Oh my god. Oh my gosh, y'all. So before I even do the other side, I just gotta I just like like let me just do it side by side. That is gorgeous. 
I feel like this would be pretty if it was up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the other side out. Well, here is how the hair looks all out. All right, y'all. So this is how the hair looks all out. Yes, this is the same Elise. Okay, the same Elise that y'all saw on this card. Now, I know, I know personally, I kind of shy away from these wigs as well. But as I saw this picture, I was just like, I got to see what is popping. I got to see. So I'm pretty sure... If y'all see this wig, don't hesitate to buy it because it's like you get two styles into one. And can you believe all that hair was like in those braids? Like this is absolutely gorgeous. Now I would say you probably will need to go in and you will need to frame it. Actually, I'm going to see if I can find some scissors. So I do have some scissors. Now I'm not the best at framing, but I am going to do it like this. And I'm just going to go down just to try to lighten it up around my face like so. And I'm going to start here and I'm just going to go down. Now, I probably could go in and do a little bit more, but I'm just going to do a little bit here and do it like that. This hair is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give you a 360. So this is how it looks all in the front. This is how it looks on the left side. This is how it looks in the back. This is how it looks on the right side. Let me give y'all the back one more time. And this is how the color looks all in your face. But this is pretty. Like this is, this is yes. This is a yes. I'm so glad that I got this. So I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures. And then I'm going to come right back. Hey y'all, this is me coming back to you once again. Here is my final review. I want to say that I myself am shocked about how beautiful this wig is now keep it in mind i already thought that this was going to come out to look in this pretty but because you know it actually came into full effect when i took the braids out i am still amazed at how beautiful this wig is now i know it like come on now let me just be real when i saw this wig i was just like come on y'all y'all doing way too much who's gonna really rock this style like but then I was just like, you know what, I kind of, they kind of saw me on this picture and I really wanted to see how it looked without the braids in. This is really gorgeous. Like the hair is full. It is a little bit on the heavy side, but I feel like it's definitely perfect for this fall October weather. And yes, it is giving me life. It is giving me the craft. Okay, it's giving me the craft vibe. And this is part of my 31 Days of October Slay. So make sure y'all check out my other videos. Also make sure you like, share, and subscribe. But yes, this wig, yes. Now I can always opt to get this kind of style in a natural color. But something about this gray silver ombre effect, I feel like really just brings it up a notch. It gives it more of a personality. And I just feel like, you know, you just are more amazed of how beautiful that this wig is. Now, the curl pattern is like, like it has like a yaki texture to it. And it has a tad bit of a silky texture, but nothing like too, too much. Now, I would say on your spare time, definitely go in and try to frame it a little bit more. But I kind of love the wild, big hair shaka con vibes look and with the parting you can definitely go ahead and put this up and back in the ponytail if you want to braid it you can go back and braid it but i feel like looking at these curls i would not i would not go back to this <laughs> so yeah let me know what you think 
in the comment section below let me know if you like it love it hate it i don't care just make sure you let me know how you feel i would say drop a black heart in the uh, comment section below if you really like this wig once again this is elise by bobby boss if you do see this make sure you get it because you're going to get this gorgeous gorgeous beautiful curly type of long shaka khan vibes fro and yes i will be turning heads yes <laughs> so like i say at the end of all of my videos make sure you like share and subscribe make sure you stay positive make sure you stay beautiful and yes don't forget to slay until then